All right, here we are, lesson three, bubble one. So I'm going to run the code. It's a rectangle at position 100 and 100. So I'm going to look at the grid. Here it is, 50, 100, and 50, 100. So the X and Y intercept is 100. And there's our rectangle. So now they want us to change where the block's going to be. So I'm just going to change the coordinates from 100 to 200. And again, 200. And now the box should be start right here. Oh, no, I take it back. Right here. Right? Because we can see our, our uh, coordinates right here. 200, 200. Let's check it out. There it is. Okay, place two rectangles exactly in the corners on the screen, just like the picture. So here's the picture. I'm going to run it. This is my first one. Show my grid. And we can see it starts right here at 1, at 0, and 0. So I'm going to change this to 0. And 0 again. Reset and run. There it is. And now I'm going to drag my second one in. And I'm going to start it right here. So when I look at the coordinates down here, it's 350 and 350. So I'll change this to 350 and 350. Reset and run it. And there it is. Looks good. On to the next one. Okay. Run it. So I've got my two blocks here, two blocks here. They want us to add another one and change it to yellow. So first thing we can do very easily, change the fill from blue. Yellow. I said run. There it is. Now let's show our grid. Looks like it's about right here, which is 100x by y of 200. So I'll grab my rectangle. by 200. Let's check it out. And there it is. Looks good. On to the next one. All right. So they want us to overlap them and run. I see the blue is on top, the red is on the bottom. So let's go ahead and change this to green first of all. Reset. And now all we have to do is change the order in which these are placed. So if we want the blue on the bottom, we're going to grab line 3 and line 4 and just move it. So line 1 is what's going to be first on the uh, game board and then line three is going to be the second box. I'm sorry, two and two and four. And there it is. Right? So the first thing that you put, uh, put in your code is the first thing that's going to go on the board. And then as you add more, it's going to be stacked on top. Alright, you can use an ellipse to make a circle. Let's run it. So here's one circle. They want us to add a new one that's orange. So here's our code. Ellipse 100, 100. This one looks like it's right in the center. So let's go ahead and put it at 200, 200. First we'll add our color.
call it orange. And then we'll add our ellipse. 200, 200, reset, run it. Looks good. Debug a car. All right, they want the wheels on the outside. So we see, first off, that the first thing we have in there is the dim gray wheels, right? Line two and three are the circles, or ellipses. So all we have to do is move these to the bottom so that they're on top. So the first thing being dropped are these boxes, then the wheels. That's it. Run it. And there it is. Debug the flower. Okay, so the petals are here. And we just need to move them back into the fold. So let's find this one first. It's at like 236-ish. This one is easy to find because the center is right here, 300 by 200. Here it is, 300 by 200. So let's just move this. Um, let's see, this is 200 by 200. Let's go 225 by 200. 225 by 200. Let's check it out. Yep, that looks good. And now this one is about 240 by 300, and it should be around here-ish, 210 by 220. So we'll go 210 by 220, like set, run it, and that's too far in. All right, let's go 250. I went the wrong way. 220, 250. Still not good. 240. Better. But we can go, let's go 225. Alright, good enough. There's our flower. On to the next one. Debug a spotlight. Okay, read the code that makes the stoplight. Change the code so the colors are correct. All right. So here's the black circle. It's at like 200 by 120 ish. So let's make this one green or red because it's a red light. Alright, now let's find our other red. And this one should be yellow. So we'll go yellow here. And then our bottom yellow. Let's make it green. And there it is. And remember, just all you have to do is look on the board and find the coordinates. Alright, this one's at 200 by 225 ish. So there it is, 200 by 225. On to the next one. All right, run the code. We need the box on top. Here's our rectangle. Put it here. Reset and run. Alright, it's looking good, but we need to move the rectangle over. 
to about right here. 150 by 150 because it's going to cover this box. So we'll change that. 150 by 150. And there it is. Looks good. Alright, new block point. Learn how to draw dots on the screen. Okay, use the point block to finish the code so it matches the picture. So they just want us to drop another dot. So it looks like that ladybug. So we'll show our grid. We want to put one right here. It's about 185 by 200 ish. Here's our point code. Drop it in. So I'm going to grab the point, drop it on, and again find the coordinates. X is about 185 and Y is 200. So 1. 85, 200, reset, drop it in. Looks kind of good, but it needs to be over just a little bit. How about we go 190? That's better. All right, good to go. New blocks, stroke and weight. Okay, I'm going to hit run. I can see the dots here, but they're not very, very thick. So what we can do is add a stroke weight to make it thicker. So use the stroke weight block to finish the code so it matches the picture. Here's our stroke weight. I'm going to drop it in before these points, right? Because i got the points here. So this is my first box and a stroke weight. Let's check it out. There it is, but it's kind of small. Let's move to five. This is still too small. Let's go eight. That looks good. All right, the no fill block makes it so creative shapes have no fill. So I think all we have to do is grab this no fill, bring it up top, reset it, and there it is. So it's taking out the the filling inside of all these. No big deal. Just no fill. Alright, draw an image. Alright, I'm going to continue to draw this image. I don't want that, I want an ellipse. So all I'm doing is going by 50s here, 200, 250, 300, right? The pattern. Make a fill. Green. And then I'll put in a new ellipse here. And this one I'll drop it at 150. And then I'll add some little art or something. Alright, um, let's see what we'll do here. Let's add some more ellipses. I'm going to put one right here. What is that? Like 150? Yeah, like 175 and 175? 175. Mm 
175 by 175. Clearly it needs to go higher. There we go. There we go. Drop our next one in. We're going to scroll over by 50, so will that be 225 by 150? Set. And then one more. And again, I'm just creating a pattern. So this would be 275 and still a 150. All right, so there's our next row. And then we'll put our last row here. What would that be like? 200 by 100. 200, 100. Yep. And drop in the next one. Should be here, 250 by 100. 250 by 100. And again, we're creating the pattern. And now, the last one at 225 by 50. Twenty-five by fifty. That's it. All right. We have a stack of I don't know, apples or a stack of oranges. <laughs> Yay! Done deal. Okay, challenge face. We have nothing here. So let's go ahead and start putting in our eyes. Here's one right here, 150 by 150. The lips. 150 by 150. And the next one would be 250 by 150. Alright, there are eyes. Let's put our fill color in. Blue. And now our nose would be 200 by 200, right in the center. And we're going to make that red, so we'll grab our fill color and drop it in between 3 and 4. Looks good. Now we'll put in our blocks. Fill color green. And rectangle 1 at 150 by 250 and then the next one here 200 by 250 and you notice the pattern 150 by 200 and then these are both 250 there it is now we'll grab these ones put it like in the middle-ish So what about 100 by 225? 100 by 225. Looks good. And our other one right here, 
250 by 225. 250 by 225. And there it is. Looks good. All right, triangle out of circles. That should be pretty easy. Fill color, purple. Lips. So there's one. And we're just gonna go down like, instead of 50, yeah, let's go down 50. And then we'll go down another one. So here's our pattern. Three hundred. Three fifty. Four hundred. Set. And there we go. Now let's start heading, making these go over. 50. So that would be 200. This should be 250. Continuing this pattern, right? So this would be 300, and this would be 400. And then we'll drop another one in there. 350, 400. All right, now let's get these come down this way. 250 by 250. Fifty by two fifty. Two seventy five by two seventy five. Two fifty by two seventy five. And we're gonna do these in increments of twenty five now, right? Three hundred by three hundred. Three twenty-five. Three twenty-five. Getting there. Three fifty by three fifty. And then we should put one right here because that's kind of funky. So what is that? Two twenty-five by two twenty-five. I can even put it here so it follows the pattern. 225, 225. Reset. And then we should probably drop one at 400 by 400 just to match it out. Yikes. I gotta drop a 375 in there. 375. 375. Alright, now we have our triangle. Right. 